this sum is important for the nta ugc net exam paper 1 this will be coming under the reasoning part okay the letters in the first set have certain relationships on the basis of the relationship which is the right choice for the second set see b f is to g k dot 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 that is is to is to l p is to question mark so after the l p which one should come the four options are given over there j k is there q u is there v w is there and r q is there so how to do this types of sum you have to watch the progress of the letter that is b after that g so if you add the five digits earlier that b after that c d e f g just like this so b plus if you proceed the five places you will get g just like this the f if you proceed the five places you will get k so like this after the l you have to proceed the five places you will get q and after the p you have to proceed the five places you will get u okay so right answer will be the option number b come to the next part if blood b l double o d blood is coded as 24113 and r and b r u s t as 20678 then the code for r o b u s t is after that the options given over there a b c d so how to proceed this types of sum that the blood is coded as so blood b l double o d blood is coded as so here b is equal to 2 l is equal to 4 o is equal to 1 <coughs> and the d is equal to 3 just like this take the conversion from here that b is equal to uh, 2 see here b also is equal to 2 so u is equal to 6 s is equal to 7 t is equal to 8 just like this you have to put the values of the r o b u s t following these digits okay so this is the way you have to do this types of sum come to the next problem a bag contains an equal number of 1 rupee 50 paisa and 25 paisa coins if the total amount in the bag is rupees 35 how many coins of each type are there so what is the condition is written over there a bag contains an equal number of one rupee so equal number so how many one rupees are there is equal to that number of 50 paisa is equal to that number of 25 paisa so let it would be x so if you convert 1 rupee to the paisa you will get 100x plus 50x plus 25x is equal to 35 rupees if you convert 35 rupees to paisa so 35 into 100 so 3500 take the value of x 20 so number of coins of the each value is rupees 20 so this is the way this types of sum you can do come to the next problem in the sequence of numbers say 2 by 3 after that 4 by 7 after that x you have to find out the values of the x after that 11 by 21 after that 16 by 31 so the missing number x is after that they are giving the four option a b c d 8 by 10 6 by 10 7 uh, sorry 5 by 10 and 7 by 13 so now see the progress of the numerator as well as in the denominator part <coughs> 2 after that 4 after that uh, dot after that 11 after that 16 so see the 2 4 7 11 16 so difference is 2 3 4 5 just like this 
come to the next part that is the 3 7 after that uh, dash after that 21 after that 31 so difference is the 4 6 8 10 so here uh, here the difference 2 3 4 consecutive number here the difference is the 2 after that 6 after that 8 after that 10 so 2 2 2 2 2 at, um, actually this is not pure mathematics that's why this is called reasoning part you have to apply your common sense that which number should place here so that there is a continuity of the numbers or, or we can match you have to easily understand okay so this is the way these types of sum you can do come to the next problem if a stands for 5 b stands for 6 c stands for 7 d for 8 and so on what do the following numbers stand for 22 25 8 22 and 5 after that question mark so how to do these types of sum so a for 5 b for 6 just like this a for 5 b for 6 just like this c for 7 d for 8 up to z first you have to write so you can write in your uh, diary or in your copy all the alphabets after that so see now seeing from the above numbers that is the 22 see 22 means r after that 25 so 25 means eu after that c8 the values of 8 means d so the answer will be r u d r a so so option number d is the right answer so in the paper one ugc net that the reasoning part is concerned these types of sums are coming so if you practice a little bit at your home i think that in the exam hall you don't have to face so much difficulties okay thank you